So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a site called CodeCogs to generate math expressions to put into a Google Forms quiz. Right now, I'm at the Google Forms site. I'm going to click the option to create a blank quiz. This allows Google Forms to create a form that's uh, got settings in it for using it as a quiz. My question here, my first question, I'm going to say factor the following expression. I'm going to check, <clears throat> click on this image icon because my math expression is going to be input as an image. I'm going to say by URL because I'm using the CodeCog site. In a new tab, I go over to CodeCogs.com. I'm going to click on Equation Editor and then choose the Integrated Editor. The Integrated Editor lets me uh, create these math expressions in my web browser. I don't have to go to a separate program. And up here, we see that CodeCogs has all types of math templates. Um, if you want to you know, click on different templates to create your equation, or you can just type it in if you know some of the symbols. So my expression is 6x squared. Notice I use the caret to represent an exponent. We see that the squared went up in the exponent then. Um, minus 7x minus 3. So this is my quadratic trinomial. I want this image to go into my Google Forms quiz. So here where it says click to download the image, I can do that or if I right click on it, I say copy the link address. I don't want to have a bunch of files on my computer, so I'm just copying the link address. I'm going back to the tab with my Google Forms quiz. I'm going to paste that link address in here. We see that the expression is showing up. I hit the select button and now the expression is embedded in here. I can hit the preview button to see what this would look like. Factor the following expression, 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. I'm going to go back to the edit, and I want to change this question to a multiple choice question, and I'll generate all of my math images using code cogs. So option one, I hit the image button. I'm going to go back to my code cogs site, and I'll type in an expression that I want to have show up in Google Forms. So this would be one of the options. I will right click, copy link address, go back to my quiz, click by URL, paste it, it shows me the expression, and now for my first option I see the math expression. And I'll continue to do this, I'll add an option, I'll have a total of four different math expressions. Every time I insert an image I'm going to say by URL because I'm using code cogs and I'll go to code cogs and write another expression I'll copy the link to that go back to my quiz and paste it add another option hit the image by URL, go back to code cogs, and we see this is a much uh, more rapid process for inserting math expressions rather than um, taking screenshots and handling files, and my computer has a bunch of files, everything's being done in the web. I find it to be a bit faster. Right click, copy link address, paste it. So now that I have my question and four options, I go down to the answer key. I can say how many points I want this question to be worth, and then I can select the correct answer so that Google Forms will grade it for me. And there it is, there's my one question quiz. If I hit preview, this is what a student would see. Back to the following expression, and we see the four options. If they choose the correct option, submit, can view score, S scored two out of two because I got the answer correct. And there you go, that's how you use code cogs to embed math expressions without having to do a bunch of screenshots.